Hi, uh, could I have a, um, pumpkin spice latte frappuccino? Uh, what size? Grande. Okay. Um, with no, uh, milk, could I have it with, um, coconut milk? Okay, do you want the whipped cream? Uh, no whipped cream either. Okay, anything else for you today? Um, let me see here, sorry. No. Nope. You know what, I think I'm good. <laughs> Thanks. You too. So it's time to go home. Very excited about this, of course, because I get to go home and be with my family. Before I do that, today is the Honolulu Century Ride, which is 100 miles if you do the whole thing. Um, so they should be still on the road, or at least some people should still be on the road. So I'm gonna go try to catch them along uh, the beautiful East Coast on my way home. beautiful like it's ridiculous how beautiful it is here I love bicycles I love bicycles I love bread let's see if I can get into our, into our house because this door actually needs to be open. Sheesh kabish. It is not open. I'm gonna have to break into my own house. This house is super cool. The only problem is we don't have enough keys made yet. So now I have to essentially break into my own house. Successfully made it into the backyard. Now I'm gonna try not to scare the crap out of Chelsea. I made it home. Yes, I'm wearing a different hat. It's not on purpose. I saw it and I wanted to pick it up where it was where it was laying and so I just put it on. Anyway, I made it home. We have a ton of stuff to unpack. A ton of stuff to unpack. What'd you say? You know what you need to do? Cut. You know what you need to do? Okay, <laughs> I can't talk. I can't Chelsea talk. was gonna talk to you, <laughs> but she decided. Okay, let me say that. Oh, okay. Do you know what you do when you need to unpack? You leave. <laughs> and procrastinate and be like, oh, we need things at the store. Just avoid your problems. If you avoid your problems, you never have to deal with them. So we're gonna leave Eva at home by herself. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyway, so we have a lot of stuff to unpack, but we also have like things that we need to get, like simple things like toilet paper, paper towels. Like if we want to wipe stuff down, we need paper towels. We need trash bags. We need just like a few items. So we're gonna go out and get some right now. And yeah. Once we have the place all set up, we will give you a tour of this beautiful place we like to call home. <laughs> all right, explanation time. What do you think? It's the new thing. Now, what is this? It's the new thing. Just showing the world how oily you are. No, I don't like this. <laughs> That's why. 
If you get to tell me that I can't wear certain things, I get to tell you you can't wear paper on your face. At the very least. Not even at Ross. Miss? You should use one. Look how thin this is. What is it supposed to do? <laughs> it's soaked. <laughs> I don't feel it doing anything. I think you need a couple more. Do you remember the mouthwash? Like paper things? Yeah, is this like a Listerine strip? <laughs> yeah. Your cheeks. One more. <laughs> what are you thinking about? How do I look? She's like, Daddy's hit rock bottom. <laughs> I need to help him. Yeah, she feeling it off. It's kind of gross. <laughs> so we are headed to Ross for some essentials. It's almost like going to a dorm. S'mores like moving into a dorm. S'mores material? Let's get the fire pit first. Oh, yeah. Like when you move into a dorm, which is kind of what we did in the sense that we moved it within just a vehicle. Well, really, it was a vehicle and a half. We and that's what you do when you go to college, right? One van. So, we moved our stuff, and I was pretty proud that we don't have like a ton of stuff. We're minimalists. Uh, not on purpose. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get some stuff to make life a little easier and actually like possible to do some daily things because you know, we can't eat out every single night. That defeats the purpose that you can't save money that way. What? Or maybe you can, I don't know, but not in Hawaii. Let me tell you, you're not in Hawaii. Why can't we eat out every day? <laughs> I mean, we wish we could. A DK steakhouse every night, you know? Living the life. DK steakhouse. <laughs> Was that what it was called? Yeah. D DK? DJ? So he's like a millionaire. But do you know what the DK stands Daniel for? Daniel Klein. I don't no, know. No. What? <laughs> Donkey Kong. No. No, seriously. Look up this bio. Who's the guy? I don't know. Tyler told me and I believe everything he says. <laughs> Actually it was tape. Hall, which really is just a couple pillows on sale and a pot and a pan. Is it a picture? So we just left Ross. Thank God. And now we are headed to eat because Chris is hangry. Eat. I am a little hangry. I was a little over annoyed in the store than I usually am. Usually I just kind of walk around and follow Chelsea around. Today I was not feeling it. So we're gonna go to Pyology. What, what, two days in a row? And then we're gonna go to Target to finish off our shopping list. Uh, Cause we still need a few things. Extremely long. I 
and my phone was on 1%, I pretty much went back in time to the 90s when we stood in line and did nothing else. It was terrible. Dinner was great. I'm no longer hangry. Uh, we came home, we gave Eva a bath, we put her to bed, and we also got to put a bunch of stuff away here in our closet. We got to put a bunch of stuff away in our main area. So I think I'm going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow for another vlog. Night, guys.